Okay, hype land. Have come out the drama, the scandals, the new information is insane. It's probably the most drama filled month in the history of Twitch. It's imploding in front of our eyes. And welcome back to Mogul Mail. We got to cover everything today. But let's go back to the start. All right. If you missed anything, I will cover it all. It all started about 22 days ago when Cutie announced Shit Camp. That is her big event. It involves a bunch of creators all coming together to foster friendships and then also create content that is bigger than the sum of its parts. However, there was some initial feedback that was kind of negative about the event, especially on the live stream fail subreddit that said this event is an easy skip because Soda Poppin is not going to be there. And that wouldn't really matter normally. Quite However, people. However, one of the big people that were meant to go, XQC, biggest streamer on the platform, decided to not go the day of. How did he let the people know who were running the event that he was not going? He typed it in his offline chat, which he now admits was wrong to do. But here it is. This is it. He said, eh, I'm not going. Soda's not going. I don't feel like it. I need Soda to run good stuff for me to feel comfortable. All that, yada, yada, yada. Which kind of left the event with somewhat of a bad taste in, in, in the people who were there and also maybe some of the viewers. It helped perpetuate the narrative that, that they were already sharing. Um, now, X has apologized for this. Whatever. Doesn't matter. We're just talking about what happened. All right. At the event, event goes great. E Rob gets banned, feels bad man. After the event, Soda Poppin does a podcast with his brother, D Kane. And in it says this. Let's listen in. And also, Wrath is coming out. So I told him way before, hey, I'm not going. I'm right. sorry. Um, like I want to say like months before. Okay. All right. So let's, let's just repeat what he said there. Wrath is coming out. World of War uh, thing. Great, great, great. World of Warcraft. Sorry. I'm a little, I'm a little bit boomery here. And, and he's not going. And he says, I told them I'm not going to go. Well, here's the thing. That clip of soda popping was shown to XQC and then XQC watched it, felt like his back was against the wall and gave his real reason for not going right here. Like I had to make a choice. I kind of, I, I was cornered into choosing between um, family and Sammy. And unfortunately what happened is that um, I, I kind of just chose family. I Bro, I'm not even gonna lie, yo. I'm, I'm lost. I'm, this is giving Zelda side quest, side quest, side quest. I, I don't know. This is peak white drama, but we're gonna continue. So you see reacted to what she was talking about in her reaction to him. And then they ended up talking together online, which led to this moment, which which is crazy that this was broadcast. You know how I am, okay? I don't I don't cut it halfway. I have to go all the way. I don't have any things above my head all fucking day. I fucking can't do this with you anymore. You are not a victim okay, here. I'm, you have never not, been a victim right, okay, here. Okay, I'm done speaking okay, with you. You are well. not a victim. It's, it's okay. Stop okay, victimizing okay, okay, yourself. Okay, this is the Kendrick Lamar we cry together. Why is he talking about Kendrick Lamar? Their moment of Twitch. It's the biggest streamer in the world. It had 120,000 viewers crazy and this is where the story would normally end however in the midst of all of this is when slicker came out as a scammer that's when the fact that in the middle of all this drama there are two people with damn near the same name slick and slicker and one is about racial drama and the other one is about um sexual assault allegations and stuff like is it can we say that or do we have to abbreviate that to SA just like we can't say the R word? Let me know in the chat. I want to be PC. I'm not trying to get banned. I'm not trying to join the ban bandwagon. All right. This whole thing, he was sending the videos to people. I made a mogul mail about this a couple days ago that goes a little more in depth about it. But basically, this streamer Slicker uh, was uh, revealed to be scamming. SA got it. So if people don't know what SA is, they just got to find out, I guess. Almost like a hundred people out of over 300,000 dollars crazy crazy stuff there uh here's the total uh tally there are over 55 people on this more accurate owed money right now and the total scam is over three hundred eighty-four thousand. way more than i thought okay so this is where we get to the jideon we're i'm gonna have to actually make videos on covering this because i'm gonna i have to discover there's so many layers to this twitch drama and there's there's new things being said but so slicker got isn't being banned for using, oh, thank you, Shandy, uh, for basically misleading people and going down the gambling route on Twitch. Got it. Not to be confused with Slick, who was uncovered and dust is being brought up for essay allegations tied into Ms. Kiff downplaying those essay allegations. 
Then it says, Guy literally used the platform to defraud dozens of people, streamers and viewers alike, and admits it. Now, Jideon is still sitting a perma. I haven't quite discovered why this is a, why he got perma, perma, perma banned. Um, and Slicker, the one who is basically helping bankrupt people, is sitting pretty on Twitch. Okay, so Ludwig right now is doing a great job at giving an overview of what happened, but I'm gonna let y'all know what happened. So what happened is Crazy Slick, I didn't really know his name, Ludwig just put me on. So Crazy Slick went in when Adriana Lee was going in a separate room to take care of herself, you know, because she was intoxicated. So he came in claiming to check her pulse and was rubbing on her chest inappropriately, as she said. There are like voice notes that came out, but he was claiming to check her pulse and was touching her inappropriately on her chest, left and did this multiple times, and it was caught on camera. Like, you can literally see it. He's in like a Spider-Man onesie. So that's just to let y'all know what touching inappropriately means. There was a huge uh, uh, Reddit thread about this and a bunch of tweets about this clip that surfaced from Miz. I don't think there's a single person that we used to hang out with that doesn't hang out with Slick anymore because of what happened. I actually think there's literally none. Let me turn this up. The reality up. is, worst comes to worst of it, it's fucking, like, sexual harassment, right? I mean, like, who, like, no one... It, 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 he was literally about to say, who gives a fuck? Did y'all hear that? He was literally about to say that. Sexual harassment, right? I mean, like, who, like... No one, it, it, of what you can deem of it, it's sexual harassment, whatever. At a low scale, it's not really a big deal. Bro! What the fuck? Are you kidding? At a low scale? I don't think people really gave a shit. This is Miz speaking way too candidly and way too stupidly about sexual assault, saying it's low scale, like there's a tier list that we have to drop every year on what sexual assault we need to rank S tier, what a sexual assault we need we need to rank F tier. Uh, and and really, I mean... Chat, do y'all know if Mizkiff is banned yet? Is he banned? Showed that, you know, he, he was... I know he's a part of OTK. He got kicked out of OTK house. I know that. But... Honestly, I don't really give a shit about that because that's just like covering your ass. Right around the same time this is all unfolding, Ice Poseidon, who, by the way, renowned piece of shit and should not be revered in any way for exposing someone because he has never been a great member of any community, released a bunch of DMs between him and Mizkiff where he's just saying, Every slur under the sun. I mean, he goes through Facts. them all, and this is all. I hope he doesn't show it. 19 and you can't show that. So, past three or four years after he was already a sizable streamer. If y'all don't know, uh, Mizkiff, so Ice Poseidon, uh, how can I say, exposed Mizkiff for saying the N word with the hard R at that and the F word. Uh, like, terrible stuff. And to be clear, Mizkiff has talked about on stream before. That he used to say slurs. He's, he, he's, he admitted to it. He said, I used to say slurs. I was very edgy and I've changed. Whether he changed because he had to, because it's the times and that's the only way to become a successful creator or because he wanted to morally. Either way, good to change. But it is much different to say you used to say slurs and then look at the way that you what say What do you want to tell right? Joe so Byron right now? What's up, baby? Take me yo, out. Yo, Mikey. Yo, thank hey, you yo. for that gifted to Shandy. That's a lot. It's a lot realer. It's a lot harder to stare at. And it's a lot harder to accept. And especially because the people that he told were his viewers, this is much different. The people who are seeing all these DMs now are no longer his viewers. I I, I don't even really think I can show these, but but it is N-word, it is F-slur, and it is it is a derogatory term for other minority groups. It's it's everything. It's the whole it's the whole Mary Poppins bag, and he reached in deep for it. Uh which which look, <laughs> It is funny because two days ago he dropped this, <laughs> which which is a quick says you, quick says you, uh, and and that's and that's kind of kind of where it was ending, right? And there was different spats that were going on between streamers during all of this, relating to all of this, until today, where Twitch dropped an absolute bomb 
All right, maybe the greatest PR move they have made in the past two years, maybe the greatest policy move they've made in the past five years, Twitch has now banned gambling, all right? In response to the slicker drama and the huge outcry that happened on Twitter and Reddit and everywhere else, Twitch let out this statement which said, gambling content on Twitch has been a big topic of discussion in the community. We've reviewed our policy. Today, we want to update you on our plans we're going to be making a policy update on October 18th to prohibit streaming of gambling sites that include slots, roulette, or dice games that aren't licensed either in the U.S. or other jurisdictions that provide sufficient consumer protection. The sites like Stake, Rollbit, Duelbits, Rubet are all going to be banned. And these are the main sites that we're using. These are the sites that... Trainrex uses, uh, Trainrex TV uses the site that uh, XQC uses, the site that Drake used when he streamed on Twitch for a couple of hours. Uh, and it's it's a big change. It's a huge, huge change. And I, I got to admit it. A Wait, Drake, like the drag, like Drake actually streamed on Twitch? Gambling? Huge win for Twitch at the tail end of a crazy tumultuous two weeks. Uh, and what was the CEO tweeting while Twitch was going for their slam dunk? So weird that Twitter doesn't save your drafts and there's no drafts at all on the website that I can find. Does anyone know why? Why don't you talk about things that matter, Emmett? I don't understand. Anyway, <laughs> that's, that's it. That's, that, that is about everything that happened. What should come from this? Well, people should stop gambling which means we should have that become a much smaller category on Twitch. In the past, it's been a top five category, top 10 category occasionally. It should quickly drop. That's a great thing. We should have Crazy Slick leave the streaming community. Facts. You should do that. You should, you should, you can do anything. You, it's, all right. If you, if you move to Wyoming and work at a Best Buy, you can be a totally new person. All right, go join the Jet program and become a better person. <laughs> And said, stop your streaming career and work at Best Buy. Yo, Ludwig is a nut. But don't be in the streaming sphere because you made people feel unsafe. And the people who felt unsafe should feel safe. Like Adriana should feel safe now. Right? Like, that's what should happen. And this man said, like, do the Breaking Bad restart, bro. Move to fucking Alaska. <laughs> Take up ice fishing. And Ms. Kiff has a lot, a lot to own up for. Now, here's the thing. Ms. is Ms. In the sense that he will never be canceled unless he's deplatformed because you are never truly canceled as long as you keep creating content. And why would he ever stop creating content? Because Miz truly lives for streaming. So I I don't expect for him to disappear. Um, I assume he will just let it die down a bit, come back in two weeks, and there will still be, be a group of people who follow him. But, and he has to deal with this, which will last for the rest of his life. A lot of people, maybe even more people that follow him and more people that watch him, will always think of him as someone who either protected a sexual assaulter or is someone who was racist or homophobic. Um, it was. Or maybe, you know, they'll think of him as is. Uh, and that's that's the reality that, that he'll have to live with, uh, which, which I think is uh, deserved for what he did. Uh, he even dropped a statement himself, which I'll take a look at here. I said, we found Crazy Slick. He's not harmed. Okay, Shandy. We talked about earlier. In terms of living situation, Crazy Slick has to leave, which is good. Uh, a little after Slick's misconduct came to light, I made some inexcusable statements, which is the one we showed today. To Adriana, I'm sorry for those statements, which is a, a due apology, but you know should go to Adriana directly. Additionally, a series of private messages, the so ones I didn't from see Poseidon this. have been shown. I was dumb, edgy guy who said a lot of stupid things to my friends to come off as cool, funny. I can't change what I've said, but I can't change who I am now. I'm sorry to everyone how it's affected. I want to apologize to OTK, and he apologized. So I think we'll see him lay low, come back in two weeks, and then and then try to stream as if nothing happened because that, that's usually how it goes. Canceling doesn't exist unless you get deplatformed, and the only person who should be getting deplatformed 100% is slicker for scamming people out of $384,000. Switch, that's the last thing you gotta do, and then you're all set. Anyway, that's all. What about Mizkif? Wait, hold on, Ludwig. Hold on, Ludwig. What happened? Wait. Hold on, let me let me go back. Did you say the only one? Unless you get deplatformed, and the only person who should be getting deplatformed 100% is slicker for scamming people out of $384,000. I don't agree thousand dollars switch that's the last thing you got to do and then you're all set anyway that's all that's all probably the
I don't agree. See, that's... And this is where it kind of comes down to, I feel like we're not... Be- okay, yes, they're friends, but isn't the whole discussion, like, hold your friends accountable? Isn't that the whole part of it? Like, hold your friends accountable. Yeah, right, and then casually ended the video. Like, nah, nah, we need... Rep- like, as a person of color and a minority, like, how are we being represented in this? And I think that's a lot of this, uh, the term, you know, what aboutism, which is like a term that's like basically white lives matter. Like how we were talking black lives matter, black lives matter, black people are getting killed. There's police brutality. Um, and then, you know, it's like white lives matter, uh, which is basically a deflection to, yes, I understand, you know, or all lives matter, sorry, not white lives matter, all lives matter, which is like, okay, yes, all lives do matter, but. It's the black ones that um, need a little bit of extra help right now, you know? Uh, so basically, what aboutism is, we're talking about, uh, you know, gambling. You know, gambling needs to go away. Gambling is bad. And then we're like, hey, how come when the whites of Twitch say something, it immediately gets taken into effect? But like, you know, when this happens over here with black people and us getting hate rated and this and that and that and the other, nothing happens. Can we uh, talk about that? It's like, Oh, what aboutism? Like, that's not the issue right now. Let's focus on gambling. Let's focus. It's like, literally, that doesn't matter. But it's like, yo, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. But, I mean, that was that was a good explanation on Ludwig. I don't agree. I think Ms. Kiff definitely needs to be off the platform. Crazy Slick needs to be off the platform. Slicker needs to be off the platform. Um, Let's do some spring cleaning, shall we? I don't know. That's my take on it. What do y'all think? Yo, in the studio, I'm cooking, gotta call me Sanji Hit you with the 4-5, coming for the top 3